This circuit looks at the transfer characteristics of a MOSFET, which is this device here. And I've built this circuit to help us. We have a potential to potentiometer, potentiometer, which provides a variable voltage to the gate, measured with a voltmeter as V in. This green wire here is my voltmeter going off to the data logger, V in just here. I have a MOSFET and I'm measuring V out, the output voltage with this blue wire going off to the data logger just here. And at the moment, my load resistor RL is a light bulb. So let's just have a quick look and see what happens to remind ourselves about MOSFETs. So as I increase V in, which is the gate voltage, not a lot happens, as we would expect. The threshold voltage of a MOSFET is around about 3 volts, maybe a little bit more. So now we're starting to approach 3 volts. We can see that the voltage the output is fairly stable at 5 volts and as the gate voltage increases slightly further the voltage across the MOSFET increases and the light bulb comes on until the voltage across the MOSFET is really quite small. Now a word about using the MOSFET as a transducer driver. This MOSFET is controlling the current for the bulb. At the moment the MOSFET isn't getting hot and the reason is because although there's current flowing through the drain and out of the source through the MOSFET, the voltage across the MOSFET is very small. So the power, which is V times I, is also very small. The MOSFET isn't going to get hot. If we go back the ways now, we have to be careful that we don't use our MOSFET in this region because what's happening now is that we've got about 5 volts in total but 2 volts are being dropped across the MOSFET. There's still current flowing through the bulb and through the MOSFET so now the MOSFET will be dissipating a significant amount of power and could get damaged. So when we use the MOSFET as a transducer driver i.e. to control a load we want it to be fully turned on. We want to make sure the gate voltage is high enough so the voltage across the MOSFET is as close to zero as possible. The other scenario is this scenario. Now the input voltage is zero. The MOSFET is fully turned off and there is a large voltage across the MOSFET. Why is there a large voltage across the MOSFET? Well, the MOSFET is turned off. There is no current flowing through the bulb. Therefore, there is no voltage drop across the bulb. This point here on the top edge of the bulb is 5 volts. Therefore, this point is 5 volts. Therefore, the drain voltage is 5 volts. The source voltage is still zero, so the drain source voltage is 5 volts. But there's no power being dissipated because there's no current flowing. So the MOSFET is perfectly OK. So when the MOSFET is used as a transducer driver, it should be fully off or fully on, but not somewhere in the middle very hard to get somewhere in the middle. There you go. I've now changed my circuit. I've replaced the bulb with a 100 ohm resistor and I've changed the data logger to give us a graph instead of numbers. I'm plotting the input voltage, the gate source voltage on the x-axis and I'm plotting the output voltage, V out, which is the drain source voltage on the y-axis. Let's press play and have a look what we see. So to start with the gate voltage, the gate source voltage is going up so now it's almost 1 volt and as you can see the drain source voltage is still 5 volts. There is no current flowing through the MOSFET. There is zero voltage drop across the resistor. 5 volts here, 5 volts here. That's what we're measuring as our V out. We're measuring the voltage of this point which is the supply voltage minus the voltage drop across the resistor. If we keep going to 2 volts, see there's still no change. So that means that the gate voltage, the threshold voltage is greater than 2 volts. Now we're up to a gate source voltage of 3 volts and it's just maybe starting to conduct because the voltage of the output, the drain source voltage, is just slightly reduced 
and if we go very carefully onwards we get a nice straight line graph going straight down towards zero and then the output voltage stays at zero once the gate voltage is above about four volts so if we were using this as a transducer driver we would want the gate source voltage to stay above four volts when the MOSFETs turned on and below three volts when the MOSFETs turned off. I've changed my circuit slightly. I've added an ammeter to measure the current that goes through the drain. That's these two orange wires here going off to my ammeter. So now I'm going to plot the current through the drain, which is called the drain current, against the input voltage, which is called the gate source voltage, or in this case I'm calling it V in. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look and see what shape the graph is. So I'll press go on the data logger. And what's happening here is that when the gate source voltage is low, there's no current flowing through the MOSFET. There's still no current flowing, so I've not got anywhere near the threshold voltage. When I get somewhere near the threshold voltage, which is around about 3 volts, the current increases dramatically until there's no voltage drop across the MOSFET and the current is limited by the value of the resistor. As you can see, we have a 100 ohm resistor and a 5 volt supply, so we've got 0.0. .0 5 amps of current. It's limiting that 0.05 amps of current. And back down again. And there we go. This shows us that when the gate source voltage is less than the threshold voltage, the MOSFET doesn't conduct. The current here is zero. When the, volt, when the gate source voltage is above the threshold voltage, the MOSFET conducts increasingly well. Increasing the gate source voltage allows the MOSFET to conduct a higher current, as we would expect from the MOSFET equation. And eventually, the current would just keep going up if I didn't have a load resistor, but I do have a load resistor, so the load resistor limits the load. This is where the MOSFET is now um, acting as a transducer driver because the voltage across the MOSFET is now zero and it's dissipating no power. All the voltage across the load, the load is getting all the power from the power supply.